Let's explore an example of Experience Builder with the San Diego app. Exploring the city, we can see a 3D map of local restaurants, which we can interact with. We can pan, zoom, and change the angle. We can also click on the list on the left and see the corresponding changes in the map on the right. Switching views, we also can access a 2D map of fun places to explore in San Diego. Again, with the ability to click the list items on the left and zoom to the corresponding points in the map on the right. We can see associated text and images with each point and click the detail button for more information. From this view, we can continue exploring the map and dynamically load content associated with each point. Creating a new experience is easy. Simply click the Create New button. From here, we have a variety of starting templates. Let's choose the blank full screen app. First thing, it's important to give your app a title. We're choosing Mega Festivals in the US, which is festivals with over 50,000 people. Now we have the ability to add pages, add data, and choose a theme for our experience. Let's start by adding data and add our pre-built web map of mega festivals in the US. Let's insert a column widget into our experience, which we can snap to left and top or manually drag to resize. Column is a great place to put additional widgets, like a list widget, which we can then select a template for that best fits our needs which we'll also need to attach to a data source, which we've added earlier. Let's drag that list to match the entire size. And now we need to dynamically add content from our data. Here we can add a, an image attribute dynamically populated from the table. And let's add the festival name. And finally, let's link each of these buttons to each festival's website. By choosing set link and linking to a web address, we can click the button to add an attribute, selecting from our table, the URL option. And let's give that button an appropriate name for a seamless end user experience. Now let's add another element to our experience. Let's drag and drop the map widget into the window and fit it accordingly. Then let's select our map from our data source. And by clicking live view, we can interact with the map and click points to reveal the pop-up information. And after lining up our map, let's click off of live view so we can interact and move elements again. And clicking on the list item, we'll add an action and add a trigger. So that every time you select something in a list view, it will zoom to the corresponding point in the map. Now let's click live view on again and test our trigger. As we click an item in the list view, it zooms to the corresponding point in the map. We can continue to do this and see the map change dynamically. Let's add another widget to our experience. Let's choose the embed widget, which we will place in an open area on our experience window. And then choosing content, we want to connect to data, we'll select our data. And then choose an attribute from our data table, which in this case will be a video URL. 
Switching to live view, we can watch this dynamically adapt to each point as we select items in the list on the left. Now let's add one more section to our experience. Let's drag an image widget into the window. And let's attach it to our data. And then add a dynamic layer. Choose our attribute of lineup image. And once again, let's look at the live view and see how it reacts dynamically. As we click on each list item, the map zooms to the associated point, the video loads dynamically, and the lineup image loads dynamically as well. Now let's add a header to our final experience. We'll toggle header on, and then we will click Edit Header and drag a text widget into the header area. Now let's give our experience a title. And let's then increase the font size and make the text box full height and full width. Let's also center our title. Now, after saving, we can take a look at a live view of our final experience. And we can interact with the map itself, clicking points and seeing everything in the experience change dynamically. We can also click on our list view items to see dynamic changes in the experience. And we can click visit website to visit each of these external URLs.